you might be surprised to hear that forest area has been increasing in many parts of the world. But, and it's a big but, the world is also struggling to cope with the damaging effects that cutting down forests is having on our environment. So what's going on? Scientific opinion is divided on whether forest area worldwide has increased in recent decades. What is clear is that there are big differences between regions. This map shows where tree cover has gone up in green and where it's gone down in red between 1982 and 2016. You can see that there were big losses in tropical areas such as the Amazon and rainforests in Africa and Southeast Asia, often caused by logging or deforestation to make space for agriculture and farming. But many other regions saw forest gains. The biggest were in Europe, China and the US, and much of this was due to human activity such as planting trees. This may all sound quite promising, but growing new forests isn't an easy fix solution to the harmful consequences of deforestation. To understand why, keep in mind the wide variety of forests that exist around the world. A rainforest in Indonesia, for example, differs from a forest in Northern Europe in many ways, such as biodiversity, tree density, and the capacity to store carbon dioxide, which causes global warming. Tropical forests store much more carbon per hectare than other types of forests. Tropical forests are also among the world's most biodiverse ecosystems, playing host to many endangered species of animals and plants. But it's in these rich tropical regions where deforestation continues to be most severe. And the damage done by cutting down these natural forests cannot simply be compensated for by growing new ones. Still, reforestation is generally seen as beneficial and an important part of tackling climate change. But in some cases, planting trees can actually do more harm than good. For example, planting trees where there were no forests to begin with, such as grasslands or peatlands, can damage existing ecosystems. Also, planting the wrong type of trees can have unforeseen consequences. Take China, which has taken a lead in planting new trees. A scheme that started in the 1970s has led to billions of trees being planted in the dry north of the country to stop desert spreading. However, some of the tree species used early on were not well suited to the local soil and climate and led to water shortages and trees dying through a lack of water. Experts say that reforestation has the greatest chance of success if it is sensitive to local environments and done in areas which naturally support forests. So, while international efforts to reforest the planet are generally a good thing, it's important to keep in mind that ecosystems are complex and that it matters where and how new forests are grown. Crucially, the damage caused by cutting down natural forests, especially in the most biodiverse regions of the world, cannot simply be outweighed by growing new ones.